today, I told him I was pregnant. And all he could do was throw me to the ground. And now, I don't know what to do. There's no one to turn to. In the beginning, our love was so sweet. His gentle caress and touch swept me off my feet. He was not like any I'd met before. He was passionate. He was a man for whom I couldn't help but adore. It all started when I bent his stew. All of a sudden, he became someone new. Was this my Kwabna who called me a fool? Anyway, as he said, I'm nothing but a tool. I wish I could find a way to cover up my mistakes, be so perfect that he'd never want to go away. Nevertheless, I couldn't be enough. My oh my, this love thing is tough. I sometimes get flashbacks of nights at his place. So many encounters that would make my heart race. We were a typical couple. Funding was our spark. It was the language all the couples around us had. He wanted to go that extra step. But I told him my passion wasn't there yet. Was I wrong for not being ready? Because that was when he touched me. Her name was Selena. It felt mutual at first. We were lovers. And the mere sight of her put me in bliss. Unconditional. She told me, forever, she said, needless to say, I believed her with every fiber of my foolish heart, smiles and gentle strokes of my hand came from me threefold of affection, flowers and poems in exchange for her. You are so sweet. Becoming her chauffeur for things, baby. Even though I sought nothing extra, will it have killed her? to call me her boyfriend in front of her friends. I'm waiting for the right time to tell them was always her excuse. They won't understand. And I actually believe that too. I was blind to love till I opened her door. And that was when she touched me.
This initiative is brought to you by the Standing Committee on Sexual and Reproductive Health and Rights, including HIV AIDS, SCORA UCC MSC. Sponsored by Safe to Choose, CD Manager. Powered by University of Cape Coast Medical Students Association and the Center for Gender Research, Advocacy and Documentation, CGRAD UCC.